it's time for the Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. With the jackpot currently sitting at $20,000 and can be increased to up to $120,000. Introducing the Watson family, Sebastian, Elena, Mars, Piper, and Elisa. Their competition, the Dixon family, Audrey, Curtis, Anne, and Tucker. You're about to see these two families go head to head for an opportunity to win some cold cash because it's time to play the family feud. And now, here is the star of our show, Ty Ryder. Right Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. Tonight, we're going to play Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. Tonight, we're going to play Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. Tonight, we're going to play Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. Tonight, we're going to play Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. Tonight, we're going to play Family Feud Money Madness Tournament. Tonight, we're going to play Family Feud Money Today we have two more, battling for way too much money. Let's meet the Dixon family. Howdy Audrey. How you do? We're doing amazing, Ty. That's great. Mind introducing your family? Yes. So I'm Audrey, a graduate from West City High School. Over here we have my father Curtis, an attorney. This is my mother Anne, who gives private music lessons to children. And over there is my little brother Tucker, who plays youth baseball. All right then. Good luck, guys. And let's meet the Watson family. <laughs> so, welcome. Mind introducing your family? So, I'm Sebastian, and I'm a police officer in Vion City. This is my wife Elena, a stay-at-home mom, my oldest Prince Mars, entering senior year of high school as a footballer, my oldest Princess Piper, who works at a cleaning store, and my youngest princess Elisa. That's great. Hey Mars, I remember you from Trapped. Overall, how was your experience on that show? It was quite an experience, not going to lie. I do wish I placed a little higher, but I'll take 11th any day. That's great to hear Mars. Glad you had fun, and I hope you will have just as much fun down here. Are you ready guys? Yes. Are you ready, Dixons? Heck yeah. R. Yens. Ready. <laughs> Then let's play the feud. I need Sebastian and I need Audrey. <laughs> All right, you two. You probably know how this works. We surveyed 100 people. Top seven answers are on the board. Give me the most popular answer. Name a public place where you're likely to catch a cold or flu bug. Sebastian. Elementary school. All right then, let's see if it's up there. Elementary school. <laughs> And that was number one. What's it gonna be? You already know. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. All right Elena, name a public place where you're likely to catch a cold or flu bug. The hospital. Good answer. Hospital. <laughs> All right, Mars. We come to you. Name a public place where you're likely to catch a cold or flu bug. How about a school bus? I like that. Is it up there? <laughs> okay, Piper. I bet you have tons of experience with germs. So name a public place where you're likely to catch a cold or flu bug. An airplane. These things give me nightmares as it is, but your answer might make it worse. Show me airplane. <laughs> Alrighty, Elisa. Let's get an answer from you. Name a public place where you're likely to catch a cold or flu bug. The mall. You're a teenage girl, so you should probably know that up front. The mall. <laughs> All right, Sebastian. It's back to you. You know the question. How about it? The doctor's. The doctor's office. <laughs> All right, Elena. If it's there, you guys clear the board without a single strike. Do you have an answer? An elevator. Okay, Elena. If it's there, that's a clean sweep. Elevator. <laughs> that's alright, Elena. All right, Mars. You're still alive with only one strike. Let's go with your job. All right, Mars. If job is there, the points are yours. Show me job.
That was actually a job well done for the Watsons. But do the Dixons have an answer? Find out, right now. I need Curtis and Elena. All right. Remember, first family to 300 moves on in our tournament and gets to play fast money to add to the jackpot. So, top five answers are on the board. Name a type of pyramid. Curtis. Giza. Giza. Obviously that would be number one. Pass or play? Of course we're playing. Then let's play some feud. All right, Dan. Name a kind of pyramid. The game show. All right. The game show. How we doing today, Tucker? We doing tight. We doing. That's good to know. You got friends? Quite a few, actually. Not much bros, but I do have a good amount of female friends. What you making that face for? <laughs> you know, a little birdie came up to me and said you got rids. Um, Riz, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I heard he's been talking to some girl in his class. And just a few weeks ago, they were riding bikes together. Do you got your sister exposing you now. Audrey, you're embarrassing me, on national television. You know what, Tuck? Maybe she's watching this right now. So what else do you have to say? Can we just go back to the game? Forget the game. This is juicy now. You know what else? Just a few days ago, if I remember correctly, I recall them kissing right outside our house. This kid's got game. Oh damn, this is exciting now. <laughs> Y'all, just stop. I, whatever. Right when we were at the climax. All right, buddy, name me a kind of pyramid. Let's go with the pyramid scheme. Okay, pyramid scheme. Wow, he's 13 and he already know about the pyramid scheme. Probably something that girl of his taught him. We get it, Ty. Can you just knock it off already? Uh, whatever. But I got my eye on you the rest of the day, bud. Don't try me. All right, Audrey, we come to you. Name a kind of pyramid. Triangular. Oh, so we getting mathematical now. Triangular. <laughs> That's okay, guys. Curtis, we come back to you. Sorry, I'm struggling. Think fast. <laughs> Hold it. All good. All right, Dan, you gotta watch out. You have two strikes, one more and the Watson family will try to steal. El Costillo. The Great Mexican Pyramids. El Costillo. <laughs> All right, Watsons, it's time to steal the points. Name a kind of pyramid. We're gonna go with the food pyramid. All right, if food pyramid's up there, you've stolen the points. Food pyramid. <laughs> well then, what was number four? Cheerleading pyramid. Well, Tucker, knowing all those friends you have, you should know a lot about cheerleading pyramids. <laughs> we have the Watsons at 155. Dixons are yet to score, but our goal is 300 points. Don't go away. Egypt, Mexico, we got all the pyramids here. Come on back. Welcome back to the feud. Watsons are dominating at 155, and the Dixons need points. I now need an, and I need Mars. Alright you two, for this survey I'm doubling the points. For this survey we have the top six sensors on the board. Name something that changes as kids get older. Mars. Their voice. Okay. Their voice. Their height. Height. Amazing. Pass or play? 
We're absolutely playing. They were gonna play. All right, folks. Listen to this. During the break, we saw Tucker run off, and it turns out that this girl is in the audience today. <laughs> Dude, we get it. Let's point the cameras at her, shall we? Her name is Jasmine, and she's the one that's been hanging out with Tucker. All right, Tucker. Back to business. Name something that changes as kids get older. Attitude. That's a really good answer. Attitude. All right, Audrey. Name something that changes as kids get older. All right, Ty. We're gonna go with interests. Ah, yes. One point you're into to something, and then suddenly you become into something else. Interests. <laughs> okay, Curtis. You only had one strike. Name something that changes as kids get older. Let's go with clothing styles. I like that answer. Clothing styles. <laughs> All right, Dan. You have got to watch out. The Watsons are scheming once again. How the body looks. How the body looks. <laughs> All right, Tucker. You still have to be careful, as you still have two strikes. There, I sight. I like your thinking. However, I think your thinking process is too smart that no one would have thought of that in the survey. I sight. <laughs> All right, Watson. If it's there, you guys have taken the points once again. But listen up, everyone. If my math is correct, if you take the points, we actually won't even have to worry about the triple points round, as you guys will have enough to take this game and advance to the next round. It all comes to you, Sebastian. Name something that changes as kids get older. All right, Ty. We're gonna say facial hair. Okay. If facial hair is up there, you guys take the early victory. Facial hair. <laughs> Let's take a look at what number six was. Number six was age. Very obvious. You guys played one hell of a game. It's unfortunate how it had to end this quick. Thanks for coming and talk. Good luck with Jasmine. Oh, whatever. Who's playing? All right. When we come back, Alisa and Piper are going to play Fast Money to add 20k to the jackpot. You don't want to miss it. The Watson family won the game, and now they're gonna play fast money to add another $20,000 to the tournament jackpot. Alright Piper, Elise is off stage where she cannot see or hear your answers. I'm going to ask you 5 questions in 30 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer, if you can't think of anything say pass, and we'll come back to it if there's time left. Now if you and Elisa come up with 200 points, what do you add to the jackpot? 20 thousand dollars all right piper let's do this time will start after i finish reading the first question if you could not live in the u.s which country would you want to live in italy name a famous movie studio disney name something you associate with new orleans jazz music name a food you find raisins in cookies Name something you'd be shocked to see a celebrity wear on the red carpet. A bikini. Nice job. Let's see how you did. If you could not live in the U.S., which country would you want to live in? You said... Italy. Survey says... That's alright, that was difficult. Name a famous movie studio, you gave me... Disney. Survey says... And then I asked you to name something you associate with New Orleans. You said... Jazz music. Survey says... Nine again. Name a food you find raisins in. You answered... Cookies. Oatmeal raisin? Good. Survey says... I can see that your points are kinda low, not going to lie. Anyway, name something you'd be shocked to see a celebrity wear on the red carpet. You said... A bikini. Survey says... 19. 
Not bad, not bad at all. Let's clear the board and bring out Elisa. Show me the money, Ty. Show me the money. Hold your horses, girl. Now you have a little bit of work to do, all right? Your sister got you just a measly 53 points, you need 147. I'm going to ask you the same 5 questions. You cannot and may not duplicate any answers. If you do, you will hear. I will then say try again, and you give me a different answer. If you can't think of anything just say pass, and we'll come back if time allows. Speaking of time it's going to be a bit tougher so we'll give you 35 seconds. You ready? We ready. All right. Let's remind everyone of Piper's answers. And time will start after I finish reading the first question. If you could not live in the U.S., which country would you want to live in? Australia. Name a famous movie studio. Disney. Try again. Paramount. Name something you associate with New Orleans. Louis Armstrong. Try again. The Saints. Name a food you find raisins in. Oatmeal. Name something you'd be shocked to see a celebrity wear on the red carpet. Jeans. Loving the confidence, but is it enough? Let's find out then. If you could not live in the US, which country would you want to live in? You said. Australia. Survey says. And yes, Australia was the number one answer. A famous, movie studio. You said? Paramount. Survey said? 18. 20th Century Fox. That was number one. Name something you associate with New Orleans. You gave me? The New Orleans Saints. Survey says? That's okay. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras was number one. Name a food you find raisins in. You said? Oatmeal. Survey said. All right, we're gonna need a big one now. Name something you'd be shocked to see a celebrity wear on the red carpet. You said. Jeans. We need 75 points. Jeans are the number one answer. But is it enough? What does the survey say? That's all right. Well, they didn't add the 20,000. However, they will be moving on, in our semi-final, to go up against, the C family. But first, we have two brand new teams coming on to play Family Feud, Money, Madness, Tournament. You don't want to miss it. Hi right and I are saying bye for now.